Today I thought it would be fun to create a scene. Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I've been having such fun with the new release from Ellen Hudson and this release was created by Julie Ebersole and she always has amazing stamps and dies she's really puts a lot of thought into the stamp sets that she creates and this one is no different it's called little scotch i wanted to i was looking at the stamp set and i was trying to work out what i wanted to do and you know hello i saw the little scotch or bigfoot that was actually in the sitting position and then the guy that was Oh, the Bigfoot <laughs> had his arms up in the air and I thought gee it'd be funny if I could make it look like he was being in a swing <laughs> or, in a, or in a hammock actually is I think what I ended up creating but I was thinking it looked really funny and then I was thinking about making an interactive card but I just wanted to I didn't <laughs> I didn't make an interactive card. I was um forgot actually. But that's okay because this is a non-interactive swing card. <laughs> All right, so I have stamped out my images and I've just done the tree image and both of the squatch images and and just coloring them out with some Copics. I'm not doing anything too fancy here. I did notice that my BG72 was nearly empty and when I went to fill it I didn't have I, I don't I tend to buy my refills for the lighter colors because I obviously when you're blending out you're going to use more lighter than you do dark so they're the ones I always run out of first so I don't buy the darker colors until I absolutely need to and I do and did <laughs> have to get that color but I've made it do for today the coloring was really simple I didn't do anything fancy here I just wanted these guys to look uh, like they're having fun in the forest I have listed all the colors at my blog if you miss any of them I have got the lids off to the side but just in case you miss them I have also got another card using the and you might have seen this and I'll link this here as well the Mondo Chrysanthemum that was just released I actually created a card with that on release day but I've also got another card using that one at my blog so head through the description below and let me know what you think it's a very clean and simple card and I really like it it's a little bit different so I just re-stamped my images this is something that I normally do with some pigment ink and I use the obsidian from Alta New which is my new favorite black pigment ink and you might see that I did that whole image twice because I wanted two sets of trees and I cut them out with the coordinating dies. Now I wanted this to be, it's a busy card, but I wanted it to be a little bit, have some white space. So I've got a piece of cardstock here. It's cut the same as the front of my card and I wanted to create a little sky background and ground as well. So I have a hill cut from some stamp masking paper and the ink I'm using here is the Catherine Pooler skylight which is a really nice sort of gray blue color green gray blue color and I'm using the MFT mini cloud edges and I really have to get the big cloud edges I don't think it's called that but I, I like the little ones but I tend to go for, and even when I'm using this it has got some bigger clouds in it so I tend to go for those but on a small scene like this I thought the small clouds actually worked better anyway to do the ground I used the other portion of my stamp masking paper adhered it before I removed the first lot and now I'm using the blending brushes again to add some ground or a hill and this is the sage color and I could never get my blending smooth I could never get it to look light it would have to be dark or nothing and these blending brushes if you have trouble with blending I say go for it it works so well all right so here's my scene I've I'm using my misty tool this is the mini misty here and I'm actually adhering my 
images now because I thought it'd be easier because I want to do some stamping over top of these and I wasn't sure how it's going to go so I've just used some tape runner to adhere the, the squatch that's going to be at the top of the hill in the background and then I'm also going to adhere the tree images directly to the card front oh, to this panel it's not a card front yet and I am hanging them over the edge. I don't think it really matters in the misty. You can actually hang them over, hang cardstock over the edge, and it doesn't affect the stamping. But stamping over popped-up images does affect the stamping. But this worked so well. I've got like the, it's the rainbow image from a set called Over It, and I lined it up over top of the trees and my watch and stamped it out with the obsidian and it worked really well I just had to put a little bit of extra pressure on the areas that were the die cut edges of the images and fill in there's a couple of little spots that I had to come in with my Copic multi liner and just fill it in but I was really surprised at how well this stamped over die cut images and that's the beauty of the misty is you can keep coming back when you've missed an area and restamp. All right, so I'm looking. I've been looking at it, and I thought my thoughts changed here, and I decided to make this into a hammock. So I'm adding some strings with my multi-liner. I'm not thinking about this too much. They're basically little, little triangle zigzags, and then I did pop up this squatch. How the <laughs> how cool are those feet? I just love how big his feet. Are. But then there you go. Hey, big foot. So originally I was just going to leave it like that and add a sentiment but it just didn't look finished off so I've added a die cut border and this is a uh, Waffle Flower Crafts it's from a set called Rainbows and I use this border quite a bit it's uh, a nice thin border it fits a four and a quarter by five and a half card perfectly and I just attached that with an eight inch Be Creative tape and I made my own speech bubble here and stamped out and white heat embossed the good vibes and that's from the over it stamp set onto some black cardstock just so that popped out and that's lots of Copic colouring and a little scene created using the little squatch set from Alan Hudson. So if you like this video please click on the thumbs up button to show that you do. Also if you haven't already I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again here real soon. Till then, happy paper crafting. Bye.